All right, man, let's talk about uh, apparently my social media is a dangerous place. Apparently, they putting Kiki Palmer up against Zendaya. They saying, well, Kiki Palmer don't get the same respect as Zendaya. Talking about colorism. Like I said before, man, um, you know, until <laughs> until black people get out their own way, bro, it, it just ain't going to never happen. <laughs> you know, what y'all want to happen, respect, and y'all want other cultures to stop to respect us. Y'all want the brutality and all the inconsistency and the racism to stop. But until we come together, it ain't going to stop. Until we stop talking about colorism and she don't get discredited and that hell because she light skinned and she dark skinned. Well, we know they both are very talented young women. We know that. <laughs> That's what we do know. They are both very young, talented women. But let's just read the story. It says Kiki Palmer responds to Zaya comparison and colorism commentary. So it says 4.34 Pacific time, p.m. Pacific time yesterday, Kiki Palmer doesn't want to play the comparison game or try acting like she's a victim of colorism, responding to all chatter about her career or whatever, Juta polls, whatever that is, to Zendaya's and showing pride in her own accolades. It said, quote, a great example of colorism is to believe I can be compared to anyone. I'm the youngest talk show host ever. I'm uh, the first black woman to start her own show on Nickelodeon and the youngest and first black Cinderella on Broadway. I'm an incomparable talent, baby. This is Kiki Palmer. So I, I this is what I just guessed real quick, chiming in, is that people just say, well, since she's not doing Hollywood movies, she not doing Marvel movies like Zendaya and TV shows like Zendaya, you know, that she ain't doing nothing. But you easily could check her Wikipedia. And a lot of this came because she had a great performance in Nope. It was the only good thing about Nope was her performance and her acting skills. But you got to remember, she's been around a long time. And just because y'all don't see what she's doing particularly, though, particularly don't really matter. You see what I'm saying? You know, she did all of that. And people don't, people weren't bringing that up in an argument. Or well, she don't get the credit Zendaya grit. You know, at the end of the day, Zendaya, you know, she doing her thing. Why you got to put her against Zendaya? Why don't y'all can't put her against uh, some other white, uh, 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 uh well, just they, like I said, I don't like the comparison at all. But it says Kiki Palmer writes, "Quote a great example of colorism is, is, is to believe I can compare to anyone. I'm the youngest talk, as she said. That. She said I've been leading a lady since I was 11 years old. I have over 100 plus credits, and currently starring an original screenplay that's the number one film at the box office. Hashtag note. I've had a blessed career thus far. I couldn't ask uh, for more, but God continues to surprise me." All right, Kiki Palmer is getting the side by side treatment was in day on Twitter after her starring role in Jordan Peele's new movie, sparking a conversation about colorism in Hollywood. Quote, here's the deal. Kiki made a splash this weekend and nope, opposite of Daniel, whatever, with some arguing this is her breakout moment in mainstream. Yes, yeah, she's been she's worked on a ton of movies and shows for years, but prior to this, she wasn't really known as a household name. Generally, uh JP Flicks, Justin Peel Flicks has put on, on her on the map. Like she's never been before. My thing is this, bro. She's been around since she's 11 years old. She the first to do a lot. Just because she ain't, you know, been focusing on Hollywood don't really mean nothing, bro, as far as movies. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean nothing, bro. You can, you can go to Wikipedia and, and pull up her credits, bro. You, you, can, you can pull up everything she's been doing. Now, she ain't really did no movies. For real, she did look. She did since 2000, since the, you know, since 2019. Well, after the 20, since 20, she did two minutes of fame. It was a Jay Farrell movie, Cat Williams, and probably not that big. Alice, a crime th thriller. She starred as uh, as Kyle, okay, as Alice, I believe, yeah, and had common in John John Lee Miller. All right, it says. An American, she was on a net. Oh, there's something to do with Jennifer Lopez. She was herself in that one. Doctor Moon. She was Lightyear, Izzy Hawthorne voice. All right, this is stuff that you probably may not know. And that was a bit. That was the black lady in it. All right, 
She was in Nope, and she got a movie in 2023 called Be Being Mortal. You know, as far as the other side of the other uh thing going, she's done thing on television. Big Mouth. So well, since 2020, she she's done things on Nickelodeon, singled out, Big Mouth. 2021 World Series herself, she sung the national anthem. Insecure, Fantastic, The Proud Family, uh, Louder. She was the Maya Lewiski Jenkins voice. Human Resources, Not So Petty, Legendary, Password. So she ain't she ain't hurting for no no shortage of work. She got a podcast. She was on a podcast. She did Cinderella from 30, 20, 2014 to 2015, the first black Cinderella on Broadway. So she ain't complaining. I can see if she's out here complaining, saying I can't get the other roles that you know, light-skinned people get, and you know, I, I, you know, I don't really understand it or whatever the situation may be. Yeah, cool. Now she was griping about it. Then, all right, she opened the door, but you can literally, you literally can look all this up and see she been, she ain't hurting for no shortage of work. It ain't no shortage of work over there. She getting paid, and it brings a day in here. You know that makes no sense. It's a day of popular because Marvel movies are popular. You can see those Marvel movies for yourself. You know? But, man, this is the arguments like this that, man, you think about, you think like we arguing about. We got so many other bigger things and bigger gripes that 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 that's that's issues in the black community than stuff like this. I, social media is toxic, bro. It really is. You know, really use it for your business and, and get the hell on Cause a lot of people say stuff that they wouldn't say in real in real life. So you you know a lot of people start these pointless debates. You know you wouldn't even be mad if the government sat there and they start and they started you know uh, controlling what's going on. You can't help because it's getting toxic. People getting killed behind this, all types of stuff. It's to the point where they stop they the abortion thing. They want people, women to stop having abortion because. It ain't enough people walking around. The birth rate going down and killing is at an all time high. It's crazy, but nobody you know talks about that argument. But she shined in that movie. Come on, see, so somebody said, "Well, you know, she ain't even black. This chick ain't even black. You, you look, she ain't even black. Come on, man." This says, "Well, Kiki Palmer deserves the same hype y'all give us a day. It's just stupid ass shit, man." They both can be queens, nigga. That little America, no, America brainwash you think it only could be one king, it only could be one queen, it only could be one right, it gotta be one wrong. Not it definitely don't work like that. It could be two rights and two wrongs. You know, two things could be true. You can be liberal on some, you can be, you know, conservative on another. So that's where Zendaya centers the chat meta, uh metaphorically. Someone on the bird app said Kiki to my Twitter. Is there the same hype and uh adulation as Zendaya typically enjoys these days? And from uh there, folks started talking about why one might perhaps have ascended earlier than others. Before we write this off as a pity to women of color against each other, let's just entertain the subject matter substance of the argument because frankly it's interesting. Quote, I like someone to uh, uh do a deep dive on the similarities and differences between Kiki Palmer's and Dad's careers. This may be one of the clearest examples of how colorism plays out in Hollywood. They be they were both child stars, but their mainstream popularity is different. Bro, what if somebody just took a different route? You know what I'm saying? What if it's like Dave Chappelle is taking more of a political route these days? You know what I'm saying? Dave Chappelle is taking more of a political route, and Kevin Hart is just, you know, taking a more just, you know, my life in a funny route. One day, they, you know, Kevin Kevin Hart may might might uh might get to the point where he be like Dave Chappelle. You know? It might get to that point. You know? Who knows? T.P. Palmer might want to take a different route. Anybody thought about that? You know what I'm saying? You ever thought about that? That's crazy. But Zendaya is, is, is definitely worth a lot more. She worth 20 and Kiki worth around eight, and which that don't really mean I could be completely wrong, but you know, it says it's so interesting seeing the conversation around Kiki Parvin having a breakout or superstar moment. It's why we live in a different world because in my hot hub, Kiki been a star for forever. Keeling the Bee was my dad's favorite movie and went triple platinum in my home. It says having a discussion about colorism involving the day can be so frustrating because 
trust our fans will get overly defensive every single time. Man, they're going to start something that don't even need to be started, bro, honestly. This is, like I said, you know, you wonder how beef star, both beautiful women, you know, as an actor. They're both great actors. I've just been seeing, in my mind, I've just been seeing Kiki Palmer more. I don't really remember Zendaya being a childhood actor, but uh, she's significantly younger. Kiki closer to my age. But, uh, but yeah, both beautiful women. Who cares? Who cares? Both doing their thing, get money. And, and even if, you know, we all know colorism is an issue. Uh, we all know colorism is an issue in Hollywood, right? Y'all ain't gonna y'all ain't gonna boycott Hollywood. So why are we even having this conversation? What's the point? Shed a light on it for two seconds. Hollywood do it. Hollywood don't care what y'all think. They run everything. They run everything. So she started off in 2013 in Super Buddies with the little dogs that you know do different stuff. So she ain't. I mean, and she did TV mostly. That was her movie. You know, she did Shake It Up. So she been around a while, not as long as Kiki Palmer, but Kiki shined in a note, and that's really what kind of spawned, you know, just idiot fans, man. Um, at the end of the day, man, shout out to uh, Illinois, shout out to the Bay where they both from. So both beautiful. Love Kiki Palmer, always did, call me baby. But nonetheless, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button, the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications, we go live and drop the video. And then you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good313, memo CJ Good313, PayPal in the description, hit my link tree, find me on Twitch, 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 Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, uh, Apple Podcast, Amazon Music, Google Podcast, Stitcher, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, all that's in my link tree. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you girls and guys need in the conversation. Peace.